He's a good dog. All right, so we've got this track built, got it all leveled up. We're good to go on it. I'm gonna start working on the saw head. Get that saw head put together. Make sure it runs real smooth. Take our time. Check all the nuts and bolts. Keep the dogs out of our way. Hang out for a minute. Get this going. You are dusty. Get out of here. Stripper, apparently. It didn't pay for a stripper. <laughs> All right. That's already connected. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did that for you. They're going to strip the wires, too. I don't know what that is. It's just a good thing I have a lot of tools. Well, use your knife, actually. It's pretty easy. I gotta crimp it. I'll be right back. Alright. Better hope it reaches me. It's just an emergency stop switch. Use your knife. Alright. 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 You stand out of reach of your arm. <laughs> it's very strange to watch it. Once I get pointed at me. <sighs> so this sits on there. Um, with the shaft out. Shaft face and the What's the first thing that goes on? The black Allen wrench tightening guy. The Allen that wrench tightening the, guy? The thing that you just did on the wheels. This thing? No. This thing. Allen wrench tightening guy. Oh, that's the first thing that goes on the crankshaft? I'm looking at the picture. Looks like it. Doesn't it? Oh, interesting. I figured that was on the outside to hold this on. Split collar, right? Is that what that is? Split collar? Sure. We'll call it a split collar today. I'll we'll call it whatever. So I see what you're looking at. You're looking at the string. They're just like camber or caster or whatever. Yeah, you can do a string alignment. The car is just like camber or caster. Seems to be tracking just fine. See that? Oh, that's what messes it up right there? Yeah, one gets off. You want your, your wheels to be dead straight to each other. Parallel? Yeah, okay. parallel. So let me get you a little close up of the finished product. Give you a little walk around. Show you a little bit closer to the log loading system. Maybe explain it a little bit more. With a four foot extension that I bought to make it four feet longer than standard, they say it'll do a 17 foot beam, I believe. And the log loader with a winch, all that is a separate option. So when you're loading a log, you'll take the big hook off, use the little hook, wrap it around the log, 
it's got a long cable. That cable is it'll probably reach all the way over to my car. Wrap it around the log and hook it on one of those holes. And then you use a hand crank and it slowly cranks it up those ramps and onto here. When these are all the way up, that's your stopper for your log so it doesn't roll off the other side. And then after you've milled your beam into a uh, square, turn it around and it rests right up against there. So you can mill something very, very thin. That's not even the width of my finger. And then this also swivels out of the way. It's also at its furthest point out. That little keeper right there, there's another hole over there. So when you're loading a log or flipping a log, you'll take that keeper out and you'll push this whole assembly in until that hole lines up with that one. You'll put the pin in, it moves the whole thing in. But you don't have to take it all the way out. You have clearance with it swung out of the way like that. You have clearance to leave that there and still run your mill right past it. You do have to take the feet off of the legs. Fairly easy to build. It did take a little bit of time because we couldn't spend a lot of time on it in one day. But it's still, it only took us maybe three days doing piece by piece. Little bits here and there. Hopefully sometime soon I get a chance to put a log up on there and mill it. I'll do that video, show you guys how it works, get everything going. Until then, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications and smash the like button to help this channel get out there. If there's something more you want to see, something more in the sawmill, have some questions about it or what we're doing on our homestead, leave it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time guys, go make something.